In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a creative timeline infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here a bridge is building up. And then when I click, it will show you the first option, year 2000. And then you can add the second option, third option, fourth and fifth. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes and from basic shapes select this one hollow circle. Draw the circle by holding the shift key so that you get the perfect size. Again then you can just reduce the width. You can see here with this orange point and shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle now i'm going to cut this one into different parts first of all go to insert shapes i'm going to select the only this part you can see here with this rectangle you can see let me just change the color so only this part and this area only i'm just going to select it let me just duplicate this now to retain that size only or that shape only i'm just going to select this hold the shift key select this square then go to format merge shape i can simply say intersect so i end up getting only this one now with this i want to keep only the half the the top part then half part or bottom part i want to remove it so i'm just going to extend this one you can see here i'm just extending this then again select the circle hold the shift key and select the rectangle merge shape you can just say intersect or subtract so whichever for example let me just keep it subtract the top part is there now so you can see here i have got two different shapes which is the semicircle here and only the quarter of the circle in this slide now select this particular shape go to format rotate you can see here I can just make rotate left 90 degrees and then I'm just going to add one more rectangle to cover this go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle here the same size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here this is somewhat up I have to just hold the alt key and then just make the same size here you can see here the size is same and then i can add one more here at the top press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size maybe this much size and then you can just go to format rotate and just say rotate left 90 degrees put it at the top make sure that again zoom in and you can see here then I'm going to select this shape, press Ctrl C, bring it here, Ctrl V and again put it on the top, you can see here. And then if you want, you can add one more here or you can just simply select this, Ctrl D, you can see here. Then go to format, I'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees. You can see here, again make sure that it is properly aligned. You have to spend a little bit of time to get it properly aligned and then i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d and again align it properly and reduce the size so you can see here you end up getting this shape now i'm going to just duplicate this slide in case anything have gone wrong with the design then i have a backup slide with me so I'm just taking this slide and just select all the uh, shapes then go to format merge shape and then say union. So you can see here it becomes one shape. Then right mouse click go to the format shape and under the effects go to 3D rotation and from presets I'm going to the perspective you can see here and I'm going to select perspective relax moderately and then just click it so you end up getting something like this and then go to 3d format and depth i'm going to increase the depth so you can see here 
how much depth you need you can just add it and then you can go to 3d rotation and you can make it left right or you can just use this arrow also you can see here it is becoming more flat so you have to become you have to make it more flat and then i'm going to the shape fill and you can give any color of your choice whichever color you want you can just add the color here so now i'm going to add the pillars to the bridge for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw a small trapezoid maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then press ctrl d to duplicate it give some different color reduce the size you can see here and then i'm going to cut this area whichever visible i'm just going to cut this so first select this shape the blue one hold the shift key select the gray color then go to format merge shape and you can just subtract it so you end up getting something like this go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw the rectangle on the top of the shape you can see here again shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select both of this merge shape and just say union and if you want you can add one more shape also here let me just add that also that looks good also even so let me just add this shape one more shape here again shape outline make it no outline i'm just going to select again merge shape union then go to the effects i'm going to the 3d rotation and i'm going to select this one which is off axis one left you can see here and go to the 3d format and increase the depth you can see here just increase the depth something like this again change the color whichever color you want light dark whichever color and then you can just go to the lighting effect and do some different color special you can see here different different combinations you have you can select the right combination and then bring it here and then just send it to back so you can see here the pillar is ready press ctrl d i'm just going to reduce the size by holding the shift key add one more here send this to back press ctrl d reduce the size further bring it here send this to back you can see here again ctrl d you can send this to back and if you want you can add one more here and this also just send this to back let me remove the guides and you can if you want you can just change the background you can go here and select any background of your choice for example if you want to have some darker also you can make it somewhat darker and this also if it is looking more dark either you can reduce uh, change the color or you can press ctrl d to duplicate this then go to effects under 3d format depth make it zero and then i can just change the color to white you can see here and increase somewhat transparency level and just put it here so you can see here it is more brighter here and this one also if you want you can give some different color so that it will be visible you can see here let me just press f4 key so that it is more visible now and if you want you can give some shadow effect as well now it's time to add some more shapes at the top so i'm just going to select this you remember we have taken this press ctrl c and bring it here ctrl v and i can just reduce the size by holding the shift key and you can give some different colors let me just give some orange and then go to the effects under the 3d rotation i'm going to select this which is off axis one left and then give some depth increase the depth you can see here and then just put it here you can see here press ctrl d you can add or reduce the size a little bit again ctrl d reduce the size further you can just add it here you can add one more here and if you want you can just change the 
direction of this for example if you want you can change the direction something like this so it faces the other side that also possible you can do it and this also you can change it but the problem is your uh, pillars are also the opposite sides if you want you can just change the pillar also something like this or you can just change the pillar which looks something like this also so this fits uh, the pillars and the design you can see here so whichever way you feel better you can just do it or you can just do it something like this also this also I'm just going to select this and then it's time to just change the colors give the colors of your choice you can see here let me just give this green let me just give this blue and let me just give this maybe a uh, kind of red now let me just put the text here go to insert text box and i'm going to just type for example 2000 you can see here center align make the font as white make it bold increase it so this will be year 2000 control d this will be say 2005 this will be 2010 this is 15 and this is 20 so whichever way you want you can just change it so 20 sorry 20 2005 2010 2015 and 2020 and go to insert text box you can add the detailed text here you can see here again white let me reduce the size wherever you want you can just add it here or on top of that you want you want to add it so whichever way you feel best you can just add the text for example i want to sorry i want to select here and i want to add the text here and for this i want to add the text here now if you want to add some road or some kind of a line here you can just go to insert shapes and with the help of the curve you can just simply add like this you can see here i'm just making it a curved something like this You have to spend a little bit of time to get it right and then just double click this so likewise also you can and if this is not straight you can just right mouse click edit points and you can add delete or whatever you want you can do with this you can see here something like this you can make it all right so whichever way you feel better and then this i can just change this to for example let me just select all of this and bring to front and this line I can give a white color and I can just give some dotted lines so like this you can just add some dotted lines here That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.